All right, in this video, let's go ahead and learn some of the arithmetic operators provided by Postgres. So these allows us to perform maths behind numbers. And basically, we can use our data set to produce some kind of statistics or any kind of result really that you want. So for example, you want to find out the discounted price for a product given 10%, right? So you can run the query which selects that column and then perform some kind of arithmetic operation and then produces you a result. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. But first, let's go ahead and learn the basics of arithmetic operators. So we can perform addition. So go ahead and simply type select and then let's go ahead and say 10 and then plus and then two. So if I end up semicolon, can see that the result is 12 and right now you see that we have this column right here so question mark column and then question mark so don't worry about this i'm going to show you exactly how to rename this in a second but you can see that the result of 10 plus 2 is 12. we can also go ahead and perform subtraction so 10 minus 2 equals 8. we can also perform multiplication so 10, 10 times 2 equals 20. And also you can chain these, right? So if I perform 10 plus two and then plus and then eight, you can see that the result is 28. We can also go ahead and perform division. Oops, sorry, if I delete that, we can perform division. So 10 divided by two, you can see that the result is five right here. We can also perform the power of a number. So 10 power 2. So the way that you, you write power is simply by using this hat. And then 10 power 2, we all know that is 100. So 10 power 3, or oh, actually 3, sorry. So 10 power 3, you can see that it's a thousand. So we could also perform the factorial of a number. So 10, and then the way that you perform factorial is actually if I perform select and then five so i want the factorial of five and you simply place a exclamation mark and if i run this you can see that the result is 120. and the final operator that i'm going to show you is the actual modular so the modulus operator allows us to get the remainder after a division so let's go ahead and say select and then let's say um 10 and then mod, so you simply use the percent sign, so 10 mod three. So let's think about this for a second. So how many times does three goes into 10? So three goes into 10 three times, and then the remainder of the result is one. So you can see right here, one, right? So the same, we could do the same for, let's say the modulus of four. So 10 modulus four, so four goes into 10 two times, the remainder is two, and pretty much if I perform um, six, so let's go ahead and say six, well actually five first. So five goes into 10 two times, so the remainder is zero, but six goes into 10 one time, and the remainder is four. So this is all for this video. As you can see that the arithmetic operators are very straightforward to use, and basically, like any other language, like Java, C Sharp, C++, Python, um, you know, PHP, they all support arithmetic operators. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use arithmetic operators with our car table. Join me there. See ya.